What's up, YouTube? You already know it's your boy Sticks, and we're going back in the mix. So check it out. If this the first time you're coming across my channel, on this channel, I search the internet for all the craziest body cam videos, and then I react to them. If that sounds like something you're interested in, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. It's that simple. With that being said, let's check out this video and see what happened. Come on. So check this out. I definitely heard the officer say that the Mustang was in the emergency lane at over 100 miles an hour. Even though looking at the video, it definitely looked like he wasn't going 100 miles an hour. Especially when he kept hitting his brakes. It looked like the flow of traffic was actually starting to pass him up. I'm really surprised that the police officer attempted that pit maneuver so close to other traffic but with the way that mustang was swerving lane to lane maybe it was the best thing for the officer to do because this man could be super intoxicated and wind up wrecking and hurting an innocent family people trying to make it home from work whatever the case may be so let me know what do you think did the officer make the right decision to do the pit maneuver right then with that being said, let's check out what's going on. Come on. Oh, you're into the wall. Stay by. Gunpoint, 
So first of all, it's a female. And did you hear the lady? She said, I'm 60 years old. Extremely intoxicated. So maybe the cop did make the best choice by hurrying up the pit maneuver. Because this lady was in no condition to be driving out there. I would much rather see her wreck and hopefully not get injured than injure some innocent people out there on the road. Look, I have no sympathy for anybody that's out there drinking and driving. We all know the consequences to what can happen. And a lot of the times these people are in the blackout or whatever. They wake up the next morning not even realizing that they just took out a whole innocent family or something like that. So that's crazy. At 60 years old, this lady's hitting over 100 miles an hour. The cops clearly had his lights on. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Come on. Thank you. 
Do we have an NCO that's on duty that's uh, fairly close by? All right, so that's the State Boys YouTube channel. If you want to see the rest of the video, go check it out. I'm not going to drag it on. But from what I understand, the lady was checked out. She had no injuries or anything like that. But I know she's going to be waking up tomorrow feeling really stupid. And that car, it looks pretty messed up. But that's what you get when you're out here drinking and driving putting other people's life at risk. And you can tell by the way she was talking, the way she was walking, she clearly shouldn't have been behind the wheel of any type of vehicle. With that being said, look, if you go drinking, get you an Uber, get you a driver, somebody who's not drinking, be responsible or wind up in jail. It's just the way it is. Until next time, hold your head, stay out of lockup. It's nasty in there.